guys what is up and welcome back to the channel welcome back hey um can i just say that i love you guys um i thank you guys so much for i don't know putting up with me yeah you guys i consider you guys my friends my friends through the screen for those of you who are not yet subscribers we're not friends yet. We're not all that lovely out with each other. You can go ahead and click that subscribe button. It is still there. It is not going to go anywhere. That way I can properly greet you to my channel, to this video. Welcome, friend. Where do I even start? Hello. Um, have you guys seen this palette floating around? So Violet Voss has launched their new palette, Like a Boss. I'm very happy to say that your girl, Sophia Kelly, is now we're friends. Violet Voss and I were friends. I mean, hey girl, what, how you doing? So without further ado, if you guys are interested in seeing these shadows and actions and how to create this lid today, or you just want to kick it back for a minute and hang with your girl, keep on watching, let the games begin, and let's get started. Okay, so we've already done one eye off camera. Let's zoom into this other eye and get into it. Let's get into the details. Alright guys, to get things started, the first shade I am taking is called Serve. I'm going to be placing Serve right in my crease area. This is going to be my transition shade for this look today. We're going to serve up some looks. The next shade I'm taking is Boss. So I'm going to go ahead and place Boss right underneath Serve. I guess you can sort of think of this as your second transition shade, if that y'all catch my drift. And I'm also going to drag this shade out. So we're going to take Boss on our lower lash line, making sure to connect the top and the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and take the Dark Side Waterproof Eyeliner by Anastasia Beverly Hills. And I'm just going to line my lower lash line and my waterline. I'm just going to go ahead and smudge whatever I have on this lower lash line. I'll be taking the shade Snatched. So I'm just going to go in with Snatched and we're going to just create even more depth in this entire crease region. So I'm going to go ahead and use the Sigma Wicked Gel Eyeliner as a base for this smoky eye. So I'm just going to place down this gel eyeliner starting closest to my lash line as possible. So I'm just going to bring this shade up into the crease region. I'm just going to go ahead and blend in this crease area so we don't have any harsh lines. So now I'll be taking the shade Strong. I'm going to go ahead and place strong right where the black ends and my transition starts. This will help diffuse any harsh lines that we have. So I'm also going to go ahead and take strong along this lower lash line to further intensify what we've got going on here. I mean, honestly, this is cute. Like, you guys could just leave this as is and just do like, you know, like a, this is like a smoky eye. But we're going to continue. We are taking this gorgeous shade Royal. So I'm going to place Royal starting in the middle. And then I'm going to start working it onto the entire lid. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend right here. Force of habit. I just need to make sure that we are good. So I'll be taking the shade Smart As Fuck. We're all professionals here, right? Okay. Excuse the French. So to really pop this eye, I'm going to be placing that shade right in the center. And I'm going to softly blend it out just a little bit, but it's mainly going to be in the center. Guys, this pigmentation is amazing because I am using these foiled shades, these metallic shades dry. We are dipping into the shade Extra. I'm just going to go ahead and place Extra in my inner corner for that highlight action. Next shade I'm going to take is Swag. We are popping Swag right here, right on top of Extra. Last but not least, we are taking the shade Amaze Balls. So I'm just going to pop Amaze Balls on my brow bone for that highlight. 
Okay, so to wrap up the eyes today, I'm just going to do my eyeliner off camera because y'all know what that looks like already. And I'm also going to apply my eyelashes. For eyelashes today, I will be using the Lena Lashes in the style Maya. So, I'm going to go and take care of these things and I'll be right back with you. So weird that I keep TikTok on standby while I'm filming? I don't know, sister's just got to have fresh breath. <sighs> okay, so let us continue getting done. Like, let's finish up this look. Let's wrap it up. Um, so I am going to go ahead and bronze. I don't, do you guys bronze? Is, is it just me? Anyway, so for bronzer today, I will be taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the shade Mahogany. This is what Mahogany looks like. So like, I definitely feel like this is a less intimidating version of Fulani. So, <laughs> if you don't want anything as intimidating as Fulani, this would be the way for you. We are moving into our contour and so what I'm taking for contour is nothing new here. I am taking the Joe Blasco in the shade Ebony and we're just gonna carve out the cheekbones like we always do. Do you guys struggle with finding like a good contour shade? Just something I was wondering. If you do, let me know. Drop it down in the comments, you know, if you struggle finding contour. As crazy as it sounds, I was never really a fan of blush until I found the right blush and then it was just like game over. <laughs> like, <laughs> what? When you find the right color, the right shade of blush, it's over. Like, you, like, what were you doing before? So for blush today, I am taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cocktail Party Blush Trio, or reverse that. I am taking the Blush Trio in Cocktail Party, and I'm taking the shade Vegas, which is the shade right here. I'm not going to mix them today. No, no, no. We're just going to take Vegas. You guys ever put on too much blush and be like, you step back and just like, like what like speechless like why why today it's happened to me before i know the feels you guys that palette today was really something else like they did violet Ross. oh my god girl the shadows though like i've been sleeping on violet boss are you guys ready are you ready for the glow the glow situation being glazed like a donut we are taking the Blush Tribe Luminescence um, Glow Palette. We're taking this gorgeous shade right here. Can you see that? So I'm going to be trying out a new technique when it comes to highlighting. I'm going to uh, be a little bit more focused with where I place my highlight. So right here, the highest point of your cheekbone, which is right up here. I'm just going to keep it focused there, blend it up, and slightly bring it down. So we got a really focused glow. I'm keeping it right here and I'm also just gonna slowly bring it down. But the main part of my highlight is gonna stay concentrated right here. I'm also gonna bring this guy up. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply the shade on our Cupid's bow on the tip of our nose and in the bridge region. We are going to mix up a little nude glossy concoction today. So I'm using multiple things. I'm going to be taking first ingredient in our recipe is the Nabi Espresso Lip Pencils. Which I told you guys about these lip pencils. I got them on Amazon. It was like a set of 56 for like 20 something dollars. So Then I will be taking two Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks and they are in the shades Dread and Honey. Shall we have a look? I mean, they're very similar, but you'll see, you'll see the do. This is the gloss, and um, believe it or not, it's going to work. It's going to work for us. First, I'm going to take um, Dread, right? We're going to do this, and... So now I'm taking the shade Undressed from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is their lip gloss, and I'm just going to go ahead and keep this really centralized on my lips oh my god I totally forgot to use the shade honey <laughs> well guess what 
we're just not gonna use for him today. I think we're done. I think we're done with this look, guys. We did it. I just want to bring everybody's attention to my eyebrows for just a second. The eyebrows. Can we get a moment of silence? Okay. If you guys enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share this video and drop some comments down below. Do you guys have any Violet Boss palettes? Which one is your favorite one? Let a girl know. How are you feeling about this dark, glamorous look? I'm trying to stay away from cut crease or anything of a cut for just a little bit because hmm, I need to step outside that box for just a minute, you know what I mean? I have to say that working with this palette today, yo, your girl's been asleep on Violet Voss and she is not sleeping anymore. I am woke on the brand, I'm so sorry. The working with the palette today was just a dream. The pigmentation is there, the blendability is there, the quality is up there. I mean, I don't wanna say that I'm bougie or anything, but cutting corners on makeup is just not something that I do, so the standards are up. So it was really nice getting to work with this palette today. And for all of you that are still here and not yet subscribed to the channel, you're still here but you're not subscribed. It's okay. It's okay. All is forgiven. All is forgiven. Um, I'm going to go ahead and invite you to click that subscribe button now. Join the ever-growing family and let us be friends. Let's connect. For all of my pre-existing subscribers, you guys truly are the best. Like, I award every single one of you for just putting up with me and just being here with me through this journey that we're going on. The journey. The makeup journey. I want to invite you guys to go ahead and click that bell button if you haven't already done so so you are notified every single time I upload a sleigh. We do not want you to miss the slayage in the future. We don't want you to miss B, okay? For those of you that just want to be more involved in my life, you know, get to know me a little bit better and also see me somewhere else other than YouTube. I'm also on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'll leave the links down below in my description for you. As well as all the products I use in today's video, they will also be linked down below in that description box. And that is all that I have for you guys today. I want to thank you once again for joining me on this one. And I will see you beautiful and amazing people in my next video. Bye, you guys.